When the barracuda fishery was in full swing, there'd be several hundred boxes, 70 pound boxes of cooter landed on that unloading wharf there most days. Well, uh, they, had a, they had a contract with, um, the cooperative had a contract with Kraft Foods and uh, to make fish paste out of them. And what happened was, uh, the fishermen just uh, head them and gut them. That's that's all we used to do. But uh, they they had to clean all what blood was left out of the backbone. And all the young lads around the town used to come here every night and use spoons and water to clean all the fish out properly so they could be processed. And that's what that shed used to do. Yeah. You know that really. It's not falling down, and I, I can't see why they'd want to pull it down. And then off the wharf then, because the fish were clean here, all the offal would oh, be yeah. uh, in the water. And it was just speco, because uh, you'd come down here with the fishing line oh. <laughs> and pretend that you're one of the boys with your beanie pulled down right over your eyes and, and fish. Because yeah. um, it wasn't, girls weren't meant to be, to be down there fishing. Yeah. But I used to catch lots of... Um, you know, the little um, mullet, mullet and salmon. salmon and you'd watch the lovely little stingrays. All sorts of stuff used yeah, to come in and yeah, you'd ponder yeah. on the world and yeah. and all was well with the world, I suppose. So, hey, mm. You're over here now. The signs up everywhere along over there. No fishing. None at all. And I'm thinking, of course, try a lot. Well, the kids are better off watching Game Boy or playing PlayStation, aren't they? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dear. So.